Hello everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome back to my channel and my island. Uh, today I am sick. I am sick, <laughs> sick girly. And I was thinking of what to do for today's video just because I had some ideas that I planned out for my next videos but because I'm not feeling well I was thinking I don't want to do any of them but I still want to play Animal Crossing because when I'm sick it's the best thing you just get cozy and you play so I decided to still play and just just show you what I do when I'm not feeling well how I play my island so I decided to do and not very novel idea, something that a lot of creators already have done. It's just to show you my daily routine on my island and also to do a little get to know me session. Since we got more than 100 subscribers now, I thought like it is still mind blowing to me that we have 100 subscribers and that 100 people decided to join my channel. And I thought, you know, since you're following me, and also thank you so much for the comments, especially seeing people comment multiple times, like in returning to the channel, it's mind-blowing to me. It feels just so nice and warm in my heart. <laughs> so I decided to do a little, you know, get to know me and just show you how I play. I'm pretty sure it probably is similar to how you play, but we'll do it anyway. I will talk. A little bit about me you know yeah ha. <laughs> so let's let's go I just exited my house this is I just started the game and it's very lucky that I have message in a bottle right here so let's see who's it from it's from Aurora <gasps> she moved out from my island and she keeps sending DIYs thank you Aurora woodland wall wow it sounds magical let's see how it looks Oh, nice! Clumps of weed and softwood. That is a beautiful, beautiful little wall. I will check my mail. This is the first thing that I always do. We have a letter from Sprinkle. What's up, Yules? The umbrella that I thought I lost totes in my house all of a sudden. Like, it must run off and partied while I went and bought a new one, then showed back up. Now I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Enjoy the umbrella, Sprinkle. Thank you, Sprinkle. Let's see the umbrella that she gave us. A picnic umbrella. Oh, cute. <laughs> nice. Let's check more mail. Happy Home Academy told me that I suck as always. What I ordered from Nook Shopping and Nook Mileage Program. <gasps> I ordered a gazebo as well, so I will show you what I'm building up on my island right now and show you what ideas I have for where to implement the gazebo. I ordered a tree sweater as well. It's so cute that now they have all the winter items. My gazebo though is pink. Uh, let me show you it if I have area to put it down. But I think I will ask Reese and Cyrus to just redo it to some different color. So first thing I do after I check my mail, I go in and I register my song because I purchase songs every day <laughs> to see if I don't have them yet. And then I change my outfit every day. So let's do that. First, yay. Oh, I can't hear it because I have to record with no game sound because I don't know how to do it. I'm very new to this. No, don't favor it. Just put it in a storage. I'll put all my things in storage except for gazebo because I need to amend it and uh, if I don't put it over there in a the corner I will forget that I have to but everything else I will put in a storage do you guys also keep all your tools on the top corn top row that's what I always do and I have a storage shed there if I need to access any of my any of my stuff let's pick out an outfit for today it's a wintry day again so I will pick up, oh, I got these new sweaters. I think they're super cute. Maybe let's do something with those. Do jeans, a little hat like that. Cute glasses. I wear glasses in real life too. So that's why I always put glasses on my character as well. 
And uh, if you saw my previous videos, you saw that I used to have like red hair of my character. Um, I just wanted to experiment a little bit to see, if, to see if it looks better. But then I decided to just return to blonde since this is how my hair looks in real life. So I just wanted to, you know, be true to how I look. What kind of, what kind of shoes should we go for? Oh, maybe green. Like it looks kind of cool. Hmm. I don't have too many cute bags and I don't like it because I really like bags. Let's just do this for now. We'll get some more stuff. Ooh, we got Nook Miles for this. Awesome. So yeah, I apologize for my voice. I am sick. Again, I don't know. I don't do I work from home. My actual nine to five job is from home. So I don't know how I got sick. I don't even talk that much to people. I don't go out that much. So I don't know. My boyfriend works outside of the house, so but he's not sick. So if he carried germs in, he was like immune to them and I got sick. So I'll tell you what I do next. The next thing I do, and I don't know if you guys do this, because I haven't really seen other YouTubers talk about it. I go through all my beaches and I collect all of my shelves. And there's a reason for it. Because if I don't have a cool gifts for my villagers, I give my villagers gifts every day. But if I don't have anything in mind specific for them, like a clothes of some sort, I will go through the beaches, I will collect the shells, and I will give them either corals, giant shells, or uh, Venus combs. And the reason is because those are the most expensive shells, and those are the only ones that get you a return item back. So usually they will give you either a furniture item or a clothes item. Back. and I want the items and it still raises a little bit of a relationship with them and while I do it we can do a little get to know me type of sesh because I like talking about myself is that bad I mean it's my channel we might as well <laughs> might as well get to know me you know while we're here so as you know my name is Yulia I introduce myself usually in the beginning of the video I don't know if I did it today. I'm sorry. I'm taking medication for my cold, so <laughs> I might have forgotten. Um, yeah, I'm, um, I live in Canada right now in Toronto, but I was born in Ukraine and I grew up there. I was born in a tiny little town of Kupensk. I haven't been there for a long time because we moved a lot when I was a kid. Well, first of all, technically, I was born in the USSR, but thankfully, when I was one year old, uh, USSR fell apart. So I spent my childhood in a glorious Ukraine that was independent. And um, yeah, my family moved a lot, and uh, but I still have very fond memories of my hometown of Kupiansk, where I grew up as a little kid. and. Um, Unfortunately, this is a town very close to Russian border. So, <laughs> as you know, I don't know if you're watching this video in the future. And if you do, I hope Ukraine is free by that time. But unfortunately, uh, because right now, as you know, there's a war in my country. This town was affected the first. It was invaded right away. And uh, unfortunately, it was really destroyed by the Russian army. There is almost like not a single building that is left untouched. Everything was bombed. I know I realized I'm very privileged to be in a safe space uh, during this war and not be actually personally directly affected by it. Oh, let's give Hippo a gift. But um, you know, it's still a little sad that now my hometown is only in my memories, you know? I will never see it the same way ever again. Also, while we're talking to Hippo, since we're on this topic, uh, if you are a person that cares about Ukraine and about the Russian invasion that is happening right now, I will leave a link in the description to our uh, government charity. 
It is a legit charity. You can trust it. Even President Volodymyr Zelensky uh, was talking about it. You can go there and donate if you are feeling charitable in this Christmas season uh, to Ukraine. And uh, it's really nice because you can even choose what your money is going for. So if you don't want to donate for, you know, army directly, you can ask for your money to be directed to humanitarian help for actual civilians affected by the war. So you can, you can choose what your money is going to. And even if you have like a dollar to, to, to spare, that would be a great help great help to Ukraine. I know my my channel doesn't have that much of a reach, but I couldn't have, you know, not mention it in this video. Okay, let's, let's move on from a bit of a sad topic, but we'll still <laughs> talk further about my life and about hippo. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a coral. They really like it. I don't know if you guys do this. I do this all the time. I give them... See, he gives me mountain parka in exchange for a coral that I just found on the beach. It's very funny, but I do this every time when I don't have actual gifts for them. And so I thought it was a good tip. Oh, this flower bread. I didn't want it there. That's fine. I'm fixing my flowers later in my routine, so I'm not gonna do it now. So I ran through all the beaches and everything, and now, so I don't miss anything, I return back. I don't really have my bridges built up yet. Oh, sprinkle. Now we'll just meet the villagers and uh, give them some gifts. I don't really have much. I only have two more shells that I can give them. That's okay. Because I usually play longer. There are more shells that are appearing, and I will give them that. Or sometimes I'll give them assessed fossils, you know? It will work too. But now is the time. Oh no, wait, Dizzy. <laughs> Look how cute he is in his outfit. So blue. I like it. I will give him a Venus comb. Oh, a tricycle. Nice. I need more tricycles. Thank you, Dizzy. Oh, and I got some nook miles for talking to my villagers. Great. So the next thing I do is I check my flower beds for any hybrids. I plant them in appropriate places. And then I go to look for my fossils and to hit my rocks. So I'm going to do this now and just talk a little more so we guys can be friends you know and you can learn learn a little bit about me <laughs> as i mentioned before my family moved a lot when i was a child so we lived in a lot of different towns around ukraine uh, but we ended up all living in kiev which is our capital and uh, i went there to get my law degree it was fun six years of my life I can't say it wasn't difficult it was pretty tough and I just because I was a kind of I think I was a bit of a lazy student I was a straight A student when I was in school uh, in high school and everything but I was not the same way when I was uh, already in university I don't know I think just the freedom of living alone without my parents got to me and <laughs> I was just using that to be a little frivolous with my time but I ended up graduating well and I really I do work in the field so I did use my degree so that's good I think but after I graduated uh, my university I was 23 when I got my master's degree and I decided to uh, go live abroad oh, I missed all the bells okay because I thought I always had a dream to experience living abroad. And I thought if I don't do it when I'm in my 20s, in my early 20s, then I probably will never do it. So I decided to do it. I went to Canada. I moved here on a little 
、uh, like it was a one year program for profession for young professionals. I think it was called. So if you have higher education, you can move to Canada and work here for a year. So that is what I did, and I worked here in a law firm in Toronto, and got my experience. And I like living here. I decided that I want to stay longer, and to do so, I went here to college, and I finished my college degree. I went to study also law, but I did a law clerk diploma because,、uh, as you might know, if you have a degree、uh, in law from Europe, unless your degree is from Great Britain. Uh, there is a different legal system, so you can't really transfer easily your degree、um, from what is called like what we call in Ukraine like Roman law system and、uh, you know British law system. So I couldn't really just transfer my degree and become a lawyer here. I would have to study more in the law school and then pass the bar here, and it was really expensive and would take me a long time. And for visa purposes, I just had to make it a shorter time. So I got that. I got my law clerk diploma. It was very interesting. Canadian school. Not gonna diss Canadians, but like it's so much easier than Ukrainian university. Just not the material is easier, of course. Material is still the same. You have to still learn the law, but the teachers, the professors, are so much more. You know, welcoming. They care about like your grades and stuff. In Ukraine, it's more like you're playing a survival game in university. Like, oh, you're too dumb. Bye. You're too. You're too lazy. You're just. You're out of here. So there, no one's gonna baby you in Ukrainian university. But here in Canada, I really felt very appreciated, and、uh, my my professors were really kind and like、uh, would explain to me things if I wasn't sure about them. I just thought it's like a better system, so you don't feel like you're fighting an uphill battle when you're doing your degree, like I kind of felt in Ukraine. And I appreciate that, you know, when I was in university, I graduated in、uh, 2013. So it was still like Ukraine keeps evolving, of course, and we're moving away from our Soviet past.、Uh, but w- when I was in university, it was still different than what people experience now when they're in universities in Ukraine. I'm sure it's different now, but、uh, it was a bit of rigid experience for me when I was there. After that, I just started working here, and I decided to stay for a bit because,、um, again. <laughs> Don't want to return to a sad topic, but in 2014, that's when the Russia invaded Ukraine for the first time, and it was really unstable political environment. So I ju- I stayed in Canada. My whole family is in Ukraine, and oh,、well, not now. A lot of my family are refugees at the moment, but at that time they were still in Ukraine, and、uh, that's what I decided to do. Now I live in Toronto. I really like it here. It's very cold in winter, but I'm getting used to it. You know, I knew what I'm signing up to because I, I'm moving to Canada. But、um, it was, I, I like Canada. Canada is nice. Has a lot of people from different countries of the world. A lot of immigrants. So I don't feel like I'm that much of an outsider just be, because how welcoming the country is. To immigrants, and that it, it is truly very nice.、Um, I really like it, and that is pretty much it. And we just kept working here. I have,、uh, I found my boyfriend. <laughs> I adopted my cat. Now I adopted my dog, and we're just.、Oh. Let's try to bargain with, with Drake for a little bit. <laughs> sure. And、uh, I live here. I like it. I usually visit home every year, but I haven't been at home for quite a while because it was pandemic and now it's war. And、uh, my family is in different parts of Europe as refugees, so we just don't even know how to all meet. So we're thinking probably we're going to try to do some sort of a get together in Europe somewhere. 
so we can all meet up. So I will probably fly to European Union. When I say Europe, I just mean European Union mostly. Sorry about that. So I will just fly to... Oh, uh, I gave him a wrong shell. I'll just fly to European Union so we can meet up. But uh, yeah, I'm very proud of my brother. He's 17. He just uh, got accepted to college in Poland uh, where he is a refugee. And uh, I'm very proud of him. It's such a great achievement for him to just being, you know, going there as a refugee, as a 17-year-old, just graduated from Ukrainian school and being able to apply and get to university. I think that's great that he can, that he can do it. He can get his studies done. Let's go visit Teddy, my bestie. Oh, Teddy is doing something. What are you doing? What is it? Holiday candle, nice. Yes, of course. Yes, teach me. Ooh, let's learn. I wonder how it looks. Nice, it looks so pretty. That's beautiful. For some reason I thought it uh, it would have been a menorah. Because I thought Hanukkah is also here. I just... Animal Crossing never calls holidays like what their actual names in the real world are. Like they call Thanksgiving Turkey Day and stuff like that. But I thought maybe they would include Hanukkah as well. That would be nice. I don't know if they do, if, if you know that they do have items for Hanukkah, let me know. I would be interested. I am, maybe I just never got them before if they have them. Okay, so the next step for me is because I gave away all of my good shells. Oh, no, I have one more. Did I not give Teddy a gift? Oh my god, I'm silly. Let's go back. Teddy, I'm sorry. Let me give, actually, you know what? I already spoke to him. Let's go to Molly's house. Is that a chaotic daily routine? <laughs> I hope some of you can relate to it though. Because <laughs> that's how I do it. Hi. Here's a gift for you. I can't wait to have um, Happy Home Paradise unlock the actual remodeling a villagers houses because her house is so cute but that empty corner there just makes me want to put some flowers there or something or like a bookshelf right here you know just something nice for her because it seems like so empty over here she's just sitting by the fridge not even having a tv or anything like that but you know let's go so the next thing is I usually go around and I try to collect all my fossils. Obviously, I probably don't find them all in the first try. Yeah, I found only four. But what I do is I go to a museum, I assess these ones, and I usually find the rest of them when I just play regularly during the day after my daily routine. I don't try to press myself with finding all of them because sometimes I don't. I don't know. It's just they're hiding somewhere in the crevices of my island. And I don't know where they are. Also, I'm at the point in the museum now that Blathers never finds new fossils in the assessed fossils. So it's just impossible for me to donate something new. You're not encouraging me to explore. Yeah, see, there you go. Ugh. Fine. Now I'm fine. Let's see if we, ch if we have a quest for coffee. No, we don't. Then we'll see Blathers later when I do. Let's go to Timmy and Tommy now and sell all of the junk that we picked up during our daily routine. And the last place I will visit is, of course, Able Sisters and I will get my new clothes. So tomorrow, when I log in, I can make an outfit from new clothes already. That's usually what I do every day. 
Oh, look at the little helicopter. That's cute. I'll get it. No, let's just first sell because my pockets are filled with crap. Okay, Timmy, Tommy, buy my useless stuff. Yeah, that's okay. I haven't bought any turnips. What are we selling? This. Let's sell this flower. I don't need it. No, I need the bush. Tipper is in the store too. She's a cutie. She always does yoga by her house. Which is... You know... I, since I grew up in rural Ukraine... Never have I imagined that I will see a cow doing yoga. You know? <laughs> Yay. Okay. Oh, let's get the bag, the punching bag. What is it called? Yeah. Because I think I will do a little activity area on my island with all of the stuff. Let's get this weird little panel as well. I think I like it. I don't really use the panels that much. I use them a little bit for like signs of stuff, but I never use them as you know, like creators use them to build up like fake buildings. Let's get the loom. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we'll put it in Able Sisters area. Oh, games, games, get move. Sorry. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Okay, let's go. And I'm sure you probably have seen, as I'm running around, what I have been building up. Just a little bit here and there. But I will just pay more attention to it. And so, what I did was... Is this side, with a bunch of trees. Uh, I did finally some Christmas trees here. This where I put my able shop. See, she, they have pretty empty area. This is probably where I will put the loom, but I don't know yet. I want to know how to decorate it first. And uh, this is where my girly, my elf's house is. She has a little pink flower garden. And I thought it would be nice for her to sit by the river, drink her tea or coffee and stuff. You yeah, know. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it as it is right now because right now I'm not even terraforming that much and I'm just trying to accumulate all the items so maybe maybe we will play now fill out what we do right now and then later in the game we might just flatten some stuff and redo them you know because it's really difficult to plan for things when you don't have too many items yet Thank you for the patterns. Thank you, thank you. I already purchased a reindeer uh, costume, so I'm not doing it again, but let's see. These ones, ski jackets, so adorable. I love them. Oh, I don't have these ones yet. Let's do colorful one. We're doing colorful island. We'll do colorful stuff. And let's do pink skirt. Oh, that looks great. Do we have... Oh, nice. I'm getting this. Well, since we're going skiing, we need... Glasses, right? Just let's do just some black ones. Okay, nice. <laughs> this is such a silly outfit. Let's just wear it. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Mabel. Bye. There you go. I think this is pretty much all I do in the beginning of my game. I don't even go to Harv's Island every day. I do sometimes. But today is Sunday because as you see, you know, turnips are here. So Harv's Island items are not even reset. So I cannot buy a new... Um, Red's items, or Kix doesn't have his new items yet. Oh, hi! <laughs> Look at Dizzy just running around. So I don't really go to them that often, unless I have to customize things, which today I do. So I will go there later. 
this is pretty much all I do in the morning. In the morning on my island. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for joining my little video while I'm sick and cozy playing Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the people that have subscribed. If you like my video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not. And comment something, because it's a lot of fun to talk to you guys in the comments. Uh, I really enjoy it. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye!